Well, greetings. And on behalf of your financial team at Paul R. Reed Financial Group, I will wish you all a happy new year. You know, as you look ahead to 2017, there are plenty of forecasts out there, and many of you have probably read or seen or heard those. Well, what I'd like to do is take a look back at 2016 and perhaps understand some lessons that we can learn from 2016 to help us deal with 2017. Well, there are three lessons that I'd ask you to consider. The first is early in the year. Early in the year, you might recall, the challenge was that interest rates were thought to rise, oil prices went down, and we saw the market respond in January in, in a big decline. The tendency might have been to abandon your diversified portfolio. What happened as a result, though, the market did go down. We saw an increase, and then, of course, mid-year, we saw Brexit. Now, Brexit was when the United Kingdom voted to exit the European Union. The European Union being a big trading partner of ours, once again, there was a market concern. The tendency, once again, might have been to abandon your diversified portfolio. Well, we saw the market continue upwards slightly, and then, of course, we had the presidential election. As we know, we had a very unexpected result, and the market doesn't like uncertainty, so once again, for the third time in the year, the tendency might have been to abandon your diversified portfolio, and then the unexpected occurred, and the market advanced after the president-elect was chosen. Second lesson was be careful of predictions. Now, predictions, as I said, by design are uncertain. I'd call your attention to the traditional bell-shaped curve. Now, on the bell-shaped curve, you might recall that it's got uh, the most probability is in the middle, and the curve kind of goes like, uh, 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 like you see on the chart. In the middle, there is about 68%, two-thirds of uh, the occasions happening on the tail end are the extremes. And you could put all the economists looking at 2017 on a bell-shaped curve. You're going to see some that are going to be very negative about the markets and what the economy might hold. And they're going to use a lot of data to support that. On the other side, you're going to see some that will be quite positive. And they'll talk about the tremendous opportunity in the United States and abroad. When in reality, the probability is right in the middle. Now, as you look back in history, very rarely do the extremes come about. Generally, it's in the middle. So our caution to you is not to rely on the extremes, look at the middle, and that's generally what we'll see happen this year. Third, the best way of dealing with 2016 was to remain in a diversified portfolio. Knowing that the portfolio is well-structured, it's consistent with your goals and objectives, it's based on our research, and it's based on an asset allocation strategy that's been time-tested throughout the years. We, of course, monitor your portfolio regularly and make any changes as needed. But thinking about a diversified portfolio, that gave you more consistent returns long-term. Some aspects of it did well in certain markets, and some did not as well. But the overall portfolio is designed and did perform consistent with objectives that we saw. Now, once again, that's not a guarantee of the future. It's designed, though, as a lesson that we've learned in 2016. So with that, think about the lessons. Number one, don't panic. Uh, number two is be careful and don't rely on forecasts. And number three, stay true to your diversified portfolio. Now, naturally, once you bring any questions to us, we look forward to meeting with you in the year ahead. If there's any questions at all, don't hesitate to contact us by email or phone. Well, our best regards for the coming year, and we look forward to seeing you. Thank you.